Hey, good morning, YouTube, everybody. Thanks for watching. This is Oscar for notagarage.com, and there's a, a new little pivot in my videos starting a couple days ago. I don't want to kind of explain that a little bit because I got a message saying, hey, why are you talking about this stuff if it's not tech stuff or internet marketing? And well, you know, we have to, can you see me? I have a light on my face and you still can't see me. I have to adjust this camera. Anyway, the complaint was that I am talking about non-technical stuff. It's like, well, whatever. You know what, this is me. I wanna talk about what I'm going through, through in life. That includes business, family, life, everything else. And that's what I'm gonna talk about. My opinions, my thoughts. I may actually create a channel that's just for technical stuff or just for WordPress. I haven't decided that yet. I haven't decided if I want to commit to that because what I really wanna do is post at least one video every day that tells you a story or tells you how to think about something that you're new or you're not familiar with, whether it's business, technology, or anything that I know. And sometimes it'll just be a fun video. Like my, I was looking at my top watch videos in history and the top, I believe it's the top six are not technical videos. Maybe the top five. One of them, the very, very top one is something I did a long time ago with my friends. We went to dinner at, uh, to eat crabs and that happens to be the top video. And it's, it's terrible. The music is not good but it still has 100,000 views, so that's interesting. And I have other videos with 50, 60, 70,000 views. Oh, there is one video with 70,000 views that is technical because it's about fixing the comment section on YouTube for yourself. So if you're having problems with commenting, leaving comments or anything like that, then that video addresses those issues. And it gets a lot of comments, a lot, a lot, a lot of comments. It might be, overall my most successful video so far although it's not in terms of views but it will soon be it will it's going to pass the other ones it's going to be the number one video in the next i don't know two to four months there's also another video about wordpress that is pretty high up there explains how to transfer wordpress from one site from one host to another or actually how to go from wordpress.com to wordpress.org meaning if you went with a free WordPress.com website, how do you then move it to your own website? All that stuff is interesting, but, and I know, and I tell my customers, and all the experts tell you, very, very narrow focus. Pick a topic, pick a niche, and stick to it. Once you build an audience, you can expand a little bit, but you know what? I feel like that's a little bit of a bait and switch, just like, I talked about it in my video yesterday from the, the tech giants and the ethics of that because I feel like that's what they do. They, they, they start you know, with a freemium, mo freemium model and they start telling people, hey, this is great, use it, use, do whatever you want, and then, then they switch it around. And it could be a growing pains, it could be that it comes with expanding and all that stuff, but it also feels sometimes like, like a betrayal. Like, hey, I came here for this, and now you're saying this is not available, or we're actually gonna do this other thing. So anyway, this is why you're seeing some more personal updates. Also, I got a new shiny camera, and I got that camera to do this videos specifically, because that's what I wanted to do. If you go back, I held the 90 day challenge a few times already. I may do another one for January, or maybe February. January sucks because Everybody's rushing right now to get stuff done for, for the end of the year, right? In fact, some people already gave up and they're like, oh, I'm not gonna do anything. Only two weeks left to, out of the year and we are done. And then what happens is in January, January comes along and they're gonna be all, let's go get him and hung up about it. And then it's gonna be like this mad rush to do everything and they say yes to everything and they push and they have resolutions and this and that. And then like January 4th comes along and they already gave up on half of those. So if I start a challenge on January 1st, I know it will not be successful. I tell people do not launch products after Thanksgiving and before the second week of January. Unless it's a consumer-based product 
that people will buy for the holidays, right? But if you're doing like a service, it may not be the best time to... Actually, there's, it, it, there's two schools of thought on that. Because there's some services that really benefit from New Year's End because they are based on the company, on their customer's yearly budget. And at the end of the year, the companies want to make sure that their budgets are utilized and they're going to get renewed and they analyze all that stuff carefully and they decide hey you know what do we need to renew this or do we need to find a new vendor or do we need to figure out how to make use of the services for the new year and so a lot of people do sign up big sign big contracts at the last few weeks of the year but that's a very specialized business and if that is the business you're in you're probably not watching my videos so anyway that about does it for now I do have a few tech stuff coming up soon. One of them will be my review of my Note 9. That's my new phone, which I really, 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 really like. But yeah, so I really like my new phone. I went from a Note 5 to the Note 9, so obviously it's a big leap, and I, I really like it. And also, I will do a review on the camera itself, because Canon is a solid, solid device. I mean, they make good products. The problem with Canon is that they don't, or it seems like they're they're always a little bit behind on tech and what the people want and you know that kind of stuff. Like, you know, the flip camera, the flip screen. Cameras have had those for such a long time, and Canon took a long time to integrate those. So, as as we've seen, Sony is taking quite a bit of. Uh, the market share as far as cameras and what used to be basically Canon Dominion. I mean, Canon and Nikon. So, Nikon, Nikon. I don't know. You, people say it different ways. But it used to be that Canon and Nikon used to be kind of like the two competing consumer brands for that stuff. Even professional, right? Uh, and then only if you went to like the super professional, like high-end hundred thousand dollar photo shoots then you would go into uh, those really really fancy cameras that are not Canon or Nikon they're like you know thirty thousand fifty thousand dollar cameras but uh, Sony made a big dent in the past few years because their cameras are amazing and if if I if I didn't have a bunch of lenses for this and if I had a little bit more allocated in my budget for a Sony, I would have gotten a, a Sony in the range of, I believe it would have been about $1,200. But I already have a lot of Canon stuff, and I didn't want to really put that to waste. And it's stuff that, that I wouldn't be able to sell for a significant amount of money. So I just decided to keep it. I bought the body only camera. That way I didn't have to spend any money on lenses, and it came out to a really, really good deal. So. Thanks for listening to my quick update and I will be catching up with you next time.